9.5 volts. 70 degrees, so it's bad. Alright? Can we have a battery that's discharged to where we can't load test it? The biggest reason I love teaching is watching when the when the light bulb comes on. I love it when kids finally get something. I love when that learning process really starts to take shape and you can have a great conversation about it. Well, when I first learned that Brian Locke was a candidate for Teacher of the Year, I thought to myself, uh, they couldn't have found a better teacher, um, a well-deserving teacher. Mr. Locke, it works. He has a tireless work ethic, um, not just about being at work and taking care of the professional aspects, but making sure that everything that he does is so that students can be successful. I mean, he's just like one of the best teachers that I've ever had. You know, he's always you know, just caring about others, and you know, he's a really chill teacher. He's never put anybody down for being a slow learner in this class. You either catch on really fast or you can catch on really slow, and he's always been willing to work with you on both. And I think that's really good because it is hard to catch up with kids who learn faster, you know, progress with kids who don't learn slow. I think the biggest thing for me is it's not so much the, the subject I teach, it's keep learning, keep moving forward, and also to have high standards. Always try and improve. Always try and do things better. He really is an extraordinary teacher, and he really stands out in my mind as being one of the very best teachers. Uh, not only because, as I said, um, he knows, has such a depth of knowledge of his subject matter, which is auto mechanics and everything that has to do with autos, um, but also he is always coming up with ideas and trying to make things, um, the surroundings and the environment better for his students so that they can be successful. Whenever we don't have any lessons planned or anything, he always goes through everybody's grades and talks to each student individually. He always asks if they need any extra assistance with any assignments or, or anything. He's always there. Well, he's inspired me to uh, graduate. Uh, for a long time, I wasn't wanting to come to school and wasn't wanting to finish, and here I am, you know, a month away from getting my high school diploma, and he's definitely pushed me to be the best that I can be in high school, and I don't think I can thank him enough for that. The other unique thing about Brian is not he's not just worried about his students. He really believes that all 1,500 of the Coconino High School students are all of our students, and he makes sure that he shares that philosophy with his colleagues, um, and he's always proposing new ideas, um, but he's also very grounded, and he's re very reflective and um, in very inclusive. I've always liked cars, so obviously it's just a good fit to teach odd modes, but I also like things that move. I like science, I like math, and there's a lot of that in the automotive field. So bringing that in and um, introducing that into just plain old cars is, is fun.